Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Farhan, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question from the topic of reproduction. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 9. Mailing made some statements about sexual reproduction in humans and in plants, and we're supposed to identify which of these statements are true. I'm going to start by using the symbol H for humans and P for plants, and I will construct a simple table beside those statements. And as we go through those statements, I'm going to put a tick for those statements which are true for either humans or for plants. So let's begin by looking at statement X. Reproductive cells are found in the ovary. Now, what is the function of the ovary in the human female? The ovaries produce and releases the eggs, which are the female reproductive cells. So this is true for humans. Now, what about plants? The ovaries in plants contains the ovule, and that's where the female reproductive cells are found. So this is also true for plants. Statement Y. Reproductive cells are found in the testes. What is the function of the testes? Now, the testes produce the sperms, which are the male reproductive cells for humans. So this statement is true for humans. But do the plants contain testes? No, they don't. In fact, the plants contain the structure called anthers, and the anthers produces the pollen grain, which contains the male reproductive cells in plants. So this statement is not true for plants. What about statement Z? Fertilization occurs in the female reproductive part. Where does fertilization happen in humans? A common misconception is that fertilization happens in the womb for humans. Now, that is not true. Fertilization happens in the structure called a fallopian tube in the human. And what about fertilization in plants? It happens inside the ovule, which is found inside the ovary. And both the fallopian tube and the ovule are female reproductive parts. So this statement is true for both human and for plants. So looking at our options, we have all three statements are correct for humans, while we only have statements X and Z correct for plants, giving us our answer as option number three. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!